Hi there, I'm Alex from Advanced Installer and this is the first video lesson in the Windows Installer training series. If you are a software developer or an IT pro who just joined the packaging world and want to learn about software packaging, this is the training resource for you. By the end of this training session, you will have a basic knowledge on what Windows Installer is, how it works, what is the structure of an MSI, how to create basic MSIs, how to customize vendor MSI applications, how to perform a repackage session, and at the end, some tools and tips and tricks. With the launch of this video series, we also launched the Windows Installer Training Book, which can be downloaded from our website. You can find the download link in the description. We will update periodically this video series to cover more in-depth Windows Installer topics, so stay tuned on our channel for that. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any new episodes. The structure of this video is fundamentally different from the ones to follow since it covers useful theoretical concepts that we need to know before diving into the practical part of packaging. So we will not include any demos today, but all of the next videos will focus on the hands-on approach of packaging. Now, let's buckle up and start our journey into a simple introduction to the Windows Installer technology. The first question would be, what the heck is Windows Installer? As part of the Windows operating system, Windows Installer is a base service used to manage software products. This includes the following aspects, installations, modifications, improvement and uninstallation of software products, reliable application customization, solving configuration issues. In plus, you will see that Windows Installer also provides a better handle of commonly used resources. It imposes conditions regarding the usage of files having different versions and fixes the rolling applications. Before the appearance of Windows Installer, software products used various technologies at the application setup request, each of them containing specific installation rules. It was common to see various errors occurring during installation. For example, an older version of a certain file could be installed on top of a newer version. Certain setups didn't take into account the resource used in common with other applications. As a result, the installing and uninstalling of the applications could compromise the functionality of others. Another faulty behavior occurred at the modification and improvement of the applications since the setup imposed its own rules, causing conflicts when various applications interacted between them. When an application stops working, any attempt of repair could lead to the system's destabilization, leading up to the whole system's resettlement. Windows Installer came with a much expected set of common rules in the application's administration and management. For example, installing, repairing and uninstalling. It led to the disappearance of the problems mentioned above and more than that made the administrator's work easier. It was published at the same time as Office 2000 becoming the first application that is based on the Windows Installer technology. We really need to go through the core functionalities that Windows Installer brought since it marks the standardization of application packaging. Some of the benefits offered by Windows Installer include Standard formatting, uh, Windows Installer created uh, the MSI package, a new application format. Uh, transactional install and rollback, uh, where Windows Installer packages can be easily installed according to the user's requirements. And if the installation fails, all the actions taken until that moment can be erased. The self-healing option or self-repair for corrupted or erased files. When certain files are corrupted or erased, the user can trigger the repair option which fixes those files. Installation or request. Uh, packages can be installed in one simple click whenever the user wants. Packages can use transform type files which allows a package to be customized. Packages can use patches, great for fixing bugs in the applications. Uh, another one would be managing the state of an application where Windows Installer offers programmers an API for monitoring the state of a package. It is or isn't installed on machine. 
Administrator rights are no longer necessary for installing application. This depends on whether the application is user targeted or not. Scriptable API for manipulating MSI type files. Packages can be administered using the MSI exec command line. There are many tools used for application packaging out there. We are going to use for this training course the Advanced Installer tool. I remind you that you can use the Advanced Installer's free 60-day training trial which is fully featured and allows you to perform all the operations needed for you to become application packaging proficient. The link to the download is in the video description. The information provided in this course is about application packaging in general and is useful and applicable regardless of the tool you chose to use. For the purpose of diversity, we will look into some very popular open source tools like WISE, Wix Toolset or Orca. Advanced Installer is one of the most popular tools for packaging and repackaging applications. Advanced Installer's graphical user interface creates the MSI following the primary goal of delivering applications to the end user. Orca is a tool used for editing MSIs which offers access to all the MSI tables but it's not meant to be a full feature tool for creating MSIs. The advantage of using it is that it's simple to use. In the case of big packages, Orca saves the MSI a lot faster than other package manipulating software would and the tables load much faster. Wise Packaging Studio is a tool that has been discontinued but is still very popular and still used at the time of this video is recorded. Wix Toolset was released by Microsoft back in 2004 and it was their first ever open source license project. Many people might not know this, but some of the most popular packages from Microsoft were built using the Wix technology, including Office 2007, Visual Studio 2005 and 2008, and SQL Server 2005. Wix stands for Windows Installer XML, and unlike having a graphical interface as we are used to with other software packaging tools, Wix uses a different approach when it comes to this. You can look at Wix more like it is a programming tool because it uses XMLs to declare and define the elements inside of package and to handle the processes during an installation. Wix is designed for more experienced software packagers used to interfere manually in the application process. That's it for this introduction series. In the next video, we will have a look on how to set up a simple lab for application repackaging and how to access it with Advanced Installer.